Hi, I'm here in the Lower Mainland of British Columbia and we're expecting some freezing temperatures next week. So for those of you who are feeding overwintering Anna's hummingbirds, I'll give you some ideas for how to keep the nectar from freezing. Uh, first of all, the recommended sugar to water ratio is uh, one cup of sugar to four cups of water. Um, obviously you boil it and cool it off. Uh, the freezing point for that is minus 2.7 degrees Celsius. You can depress the freezing point even further by creating a more concentrated um, nectar solution, one cup of sugar to three cups of water, but you can't go lower than that. Um, I use the former recipe, one cup of sugar to four cups of water. And um, the other thing that I find really useful in the winter time is to use a bowl feeder instead of a tubular feeder. The bowl feeders are very easy to keep clean and they um, work well with the ideas I'm going to give you and um, they also don't leak which means the concentration of the nectar doesn't change. Uh, the tubular feeders tend to, if, they, if you let them freeze and you bring them inside and they leak, the concentration of the nectar will change and that is not safe for the birds. So um, the easiest thing I find is, um, they're not very expensive, seedling mats. They keep the nectar 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit above uh, ambient temperature. Uh, and um, they, it, they work really well. The birds will come and find the feeders on those. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've made quite a few uh, hummingbird feeder heaters and you need a craft clip light. Uh, it's a four watt bulb inside there and a couple of styrofoam bowls. You can just sit the feeder on the top and I put some clips on and they clip over the perches. And then when the temperature drops below the freezing, you just uh, turn the light on. Oops. And they kind of, they look really cool hanging around the yard. So uh, that these work very well to about minus eight. Uh, so that's an idea. They don't take very long to make. Uh, another thing I do is I put Christmas lights uh, with incandescent bulbs around uh, feeders. Um, but you've got to be very careful because uh, depending on how many lights are in the string, they throw off quite a bit of heat and you, the goal is to keep the nectar above freezing, but not so warm that it shocks the birds. So be careful of that. Uh, a couple of useful tools in the winter time are a stainless steel skewer so that you can keep the ports uh, blocked, uh, free of ice and um, a, a brush so you can brush snow off. Baffles work when the snow's coming straight down, but if it's windy, uh, you still need that brush to keep the ports uh, free. So um, another thing is just to make sure the uh, nectar is replaced on a regular basis so it's fresh and that the feeders always have something in them because when it gets cold, they really need access to their energy sources. Um, we've also built a shelter and we still build one every year, but uh, we find that birds are so territorial that only one, uh, usually a male, will um, seek it out when the temperature is at about minus six or below. And we build it on the north side of the deck with two boards and some fir boughs. Um, they will stay in there, but again, it's, I'm not sure I would recommend it just because um, uh, the birds really fight over it. So uh, that said, the, um, there's a number of other ways you can find on the internet, but these have worked the best for us. And uh, it's worth every minute you put into it. There is so, it's such a joy to see them when it's snowing out and, and it's uh, not much to, um, you know, for the, for the amount of enjoyment they bring, it's not much work to uh, keep them safe. So anyway, good luck, have a great winter, and enjoy your birds.